Today we're going to be uh, mounting these 4 inch Oxbeam LED lights to the underside of the bumper on my 2014 Sierra. Uh, these are going to act as auxiliary backup lights and I think it's a great solution uh, if you don't want to do the flush mount option. Okay, so uh, There are other videos out there where you cut a, a square into your bumper and mount them flush which actually is a nice solution uh, but this is a little bit easier to install. Okay, I'm going to utilize the existing bolts on the underside of my bumper. Uh, for now, and then I may end up moving them later down the road uh, when I install my uh, cat back exhaust. Okay, let's take a look and see how we're going to mount them. All right, I'm going to start by removing this bolt here. Uh, this is a T45 Torx, and I sprayed it down with some uh, penetrating fluid earlier this morning. Okay. Alright, so we've run into our first little challenge here, and that is that the diameter of the hole is smaller than the original bolt, which isn't a big deal, I could just drill that out. And then the other little uh, gotcha is that the head of this original bolt won't sit down inside of this little uh, space here, um, which it needs to do. That's not a big deal either, I could just grind that down a little bit, and would be there. Um, option B would be to use the existing bolt and nut and washer and I think that's what we're going to do actually uh, because this actually the way this works is uh, this will mount to the bumper and then you have some uh, sort of slide or adjustment there's a nut down inside the inside the light and that allows you to sort of adjust the angle of it okay so in order for that to work the head of the bolt needs to sit in that little spot okay so let's just go ahead and uh, see if the uh, one that's been included with the light will work and if not we'll uh, we'll go with the first option and kind of grind that down a little bit all right okay you just might want to pull that clip out and I'll, you can see how it kind of snaps in there I'm going to hold on to this in case I ever want to put it back the way it's supposed to be and then I'm going to use a larger washer on the back side here uh, because the diameter of the bolt in the existing washer is just a little bit small for that hole okay so let me uh, let me find a washer here clean up some of my penetrating fluid okay so I'm going to use a larger flat washer the, the flat washer that the kit came with or the lights came with the lock washer that it came with and then it also included a 13 millimeter not okay now I'm not going to tighten it down all the way just yet and the reason being is because I actually want to use this as my ground as well so once I get the light up here I'll uh, put an end on there and then just crimp it between the bumper and this frame piece and that'll give me a ground okay Alright, as I showed before, there's a nut in the light there. Just needed to try to line that up with the slot. And I think I got it. Okay, that gives us all kinds of room for adjustment because you can actually pivot the light this way. Okay, and obviously you can slide it side to side, and then because we haven't tightened down our mount yet, you can side it, uh, you can angle it that way as well, okay? So all I'm going to do is uh, take this uh, ground, and I'm going to kind of tuck the wires up out of the way. And I'm just going to include it sort of in between. Uh, let me show you a better angle of it here. Okay, so now you can actually see what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to kind of slide it in between here. And when I tighten down this 13 millimeter nut here, it's going to crimp it between the two pieces of metal, okay? That should give us sufficient ground, okay? 
and then I'll uh, worry about the power after I get the other light mounted. So let me get this tightened down and then we'll, I'll mount the other light, then we'll worry about the power. Alright, I have both lights uh, mounted and I have them a little bit loose so that I can still adjust them when we get outside. Alright, let's go ahead and wire them up. Okay, so I have another video and I'll link to it at the end of this one where I help identify the color of the wires on GM vehicles. Uh, that was on my 98, but the wire colors are the same. So I know that we're looking for the light green wire and that's it right there. Okay, so you can see I pulled back the wire loom just a little bit. I'm just going to basically peel back some of the wire shield and then I'm going to splice in a new wire. I'm not going to cut the wire. Uh, I'm going to tape it up and then we'll put the wire loom back, back and tape it all up, okay? Uh, you probably won't be able to see it because my hands are going to be all up in there. So let me get that done. We're going to run that wire back to the closest uh, light, which is right here. Okay, so we're right in the neighborhood. And then we're going to run a wire across from the other light, okay? Alright, so I didn't have any light green wire, but I had that yellow wire, so I ran it and I've tested it. Uh, remember on these trucks all you have to do is turn the key on and turn it back off and the reverse lights come on. Now I need to run a wire from the passenger side light to this driver side light and then tie it into this yellow light and I'm going to tidy everything up with wire loom. Okay, so let me grab some uh, additional wire. Alright, so what I've done here is I've run some wire. I've got some wire loom on. I've just got it pulled back right now. I'm going to um, put some shrink tubing on twist them together, hit it with a little bit of solder, and then we'll shrink the tubing, pull the loom back, and then we'll do the other side. Probably can't see any of it because my hands are right in the way. So let me get that done real quick, and then we'll wire up the other side here, and then I'll show you how I ran the wire also. I guess that's kind of important. Okay, so now I have three wires. I have the one that came from the light green on the gray uh, plug. I've got the one I ran from the passenger side LED light. And then I've got this one, and uh, that's on the driver's side. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist them all together, solder them, shrink tube, and wire loom. I'm going to put a piece of wire loom on this one as well, okay? Uh, let me uh, go ahead and do that. I don't think you can actually see, so... No point in leaving the camera rolling. And you can see Connor's trying to help us out here again today. Aren't you Connor, huh? Let's see here. There he is. You're on candid camera, buddy. Alright, let's uh, fix our wire loom. I'm going to do some uh, wire ties. I'm going to tape up the ends of the wire loom as much as possible in an effort to prevent moisture from getting down in there. Um, and then we'll try it out. Alright, let's take a look. Everything's nice and tight. You can see I taped up the ends of the wire loom. Everything's, uh, there's really no exposed wire at all. Um, let's take a look at the other side. Okay, ran it up along the top and basically zip tied it everywhere I could. All right, let's try it out. All right, those are bright. Uh, those are definitely going to make a difference. I have the rear tint, and ever since I've done that, I can't see anything when I back out of my garage. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll wait till nighttime, we'll try it out again. Again, I'm 
I'm looking at these uh, and the cat back system I want, rear exit. Uh, I bet you that's where the pipes come out. So these are probably going to have to move. And I'm actually thinking, I do like the flush mount um, LEDs. I may go with those down the road. The wiring's all there. It would be easy to change it over. Uh, but for now, I, I kind of uh, like the looks of those, okay? Uh, let's wait till nighttime and test it out. All right, we're going to go outside and see how bright those are. But first, I thought I'd show a sort of a follow-up to uh, the light bar video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link to it at the end of this one. But this is the uh, behind the grill light bar. And uh, I mentioned that I didn't want to drill holes in my dash, so I made this little handheld box. And it works really well. And it kind of lives down here in this little pocket, okay? So I thought I'd show that real quick. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. We put it in reverse. Okay, so you can see I'm at the uh, base of my driveway here. I'm just going to kick it in reverse. And what a difference, huh? Makes a huge difference when I'm backing up. All right, let's check out a couple other spots. Well, one thing I hadn't considered is how much the uh, additional light would impact the camera. It really made a difference. Uh, pretty much this camera in an unlit road or an unlit driveway like we have here was unusable with the regular backup lamps and these lights actually make it so you can see what's going on uh, so there's a huge advantage right there I could actually use this camera to back down my driveway alright I don't know how much of that you can see through the tinted glass but uh, I can tell you that the driveway is really lit up well okay I've got it in reverse right now let's go uh, take a look outside the vehicle I'll set the emergency brake real quick alright you can see that they're really lighting up the driveway they're super bright and they make a huge difference, especially with the tinted glass. Uh, Ox beam four inch LEDs, you can check them out on Amazon. I'll have the link down below. They're super inexpensive. You can buy them in a set of two or a set of four and they're really easy to install as you just saw. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give me that thumbs up if you would and uh, leave questions in the comments below. If you wanna see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I'm doing all kinds of LED uh, videos these days. Uh, in fact, I'll link to a couple more. I'll link to the light bar one at the end of this one, and I'll also link to a video uh, where I kind of diagnose which wire did what in the taillights on my 98. It's going to be relevant to this video, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I've got a couple more shots, and uh, have fun.